welcome back to my channel Kentucky Fried Fun and welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to be sharing a third Thriftmas haul. Don't leave me here forever. Don't let me be alone. Just you and me together. Don't let me lose hope. My name is Ruth and on my channel you'll find cleaning and declutter motivation as well as a decoration inspiration. If you like that type of content I would love it if you would subscribe and then once you click that red subscribe button be sure to also click the little bell that is right next to it so that you don't miss out on any more of my videos. This is in participation with a challenge that is being hosted by secondhand Tracy Ann. I have participated in her last two thrift misses that have come out on Sundays and then there will also be a fourth one coming out next Sunday that I wouldn't want y'all to miss. I'll be sure to leave a link to the previous two thrift misses up in the cards and down in the description box along with Tracy's channel and the playlist of all the other ladies in their thrift miss finds. My thriftmas finds this time are a conglomeration between Goodwill, an antique store, and a couple yard sales. The first item I'm going to show y'all is a set of three, and they're the towel holders. I paid a dollar for them, and I'm pretty sure I found this at an antique store. Let me show y'all what they are up close in case you're not familiar with what a towel holder is. Ooh. I like this. This is different than I was expecting, y'all. Okay, so this part right here will go over, like on your oven, we'll go over the handle and we'll attach to that part right there. Hold up, I am on my way. Then, this is super cool, y'all. This is different. This I'm supposing you use to drape the hand towel through and then put it like this, y'all. That's awesome! That's not exactly the kind I was expecting, but I love it. And there's a white one, which I love because you can use this for all seasons. And even the red, to be honest. Red for, like, St. Patrick's Day. I mean, not St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Valentine's Day for, uh, like, holidays, like Fourth of July. And then a, like, winter green one which you could also probably use in the fall time. So I thought that was a really good deal and I love how these are made, they're, just, they're so cool. I'll have to show these to my mom, maybe she can make some like this. And this one, the white one actually has a button. The green one has this like the red one does. So that was my first find, three of these for a dollar. My next find, I actually found at Goodwill. I'd seen it there for a, quite a while and I had not gotten it. But then when Tracy issued this challenge, I was like, well, I have to, it's for a challenge on YouTube. And it was half off day, so I only paid $2. And if you know, know me yet, I love my snowman for Christmas and it's an adorable snowman. This is a pot holder with the snowflakes. And then here are a mint, and then this is the little pot holder with a Mr. and Mrs. Snowman. And I thought they were just so adorable and perfect. And the price was $4, but like I said, it was a half off day, so I only paid $2 for this snowman set. The third item I found was also at a thrift store. Yes, yes, at a thrift store. And it is this most adorable basket. It has a beautiful handle right there with snowflakes on it. And then at the border it says snowflakes, snow. And then you see the little tassel hanging right there. And I thought it was just super cute. My mom actually gave me one that's similar to this. And so I hope to use this this year. And the last thing I found is this snowman trivet. I haven't taken it out of the box yet. It was at the... Um, an antique mall and it was three dollars. I thought it was super pretty. Let me take it out of the box. It is technically an antique I guess which that's cool. But get it out of the box. Emotion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah let's go outside. Find a different way to store it. 
Okay, so this is, part is loose, like they said, but, so I might glue it a little bit. I'll wash it some and glue it. Are those super cute? I love having trivets. Um, I, I was trying to look for stuff that I didn't already have because I have a lot of snowman stuff, but this is definitely something I don't have and something that will be useful for sure for hot dishes during the Christmas time. I hope that y'all enjoyed watching my little haul today. I might tack on some more here at the end. I know I have a couple more hauls that are like in my queue on my um, laptop so I might just add some of that in there just to make this video a little bit longer but I did want to let y'all know that all of this stuff I will actually be using here in a bit to set up my tablescape for Tuesday and yes I know it's Christmas theme but Christmas in July is this week and so I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and use this stuff that I found and set it up for Christmas in July and that'll be for my tablescape coming out this Tuesday and I wouldn't want y'all to miss out on that so definitely make sure that you have your little bell clicked. If you enjoyed this video please be sure to leave it a big thumbs up and if you are new to my channel and just like what you saw today, I would love it if you would subscribe and be sure to click that little bell icon so that you don't miss out on any more of my videos. Thank you again to Tracy for hosting this challenge. I hope y'all have a blessed day and I'll see y'all later. Bye! Moving on to my Dollar Tree haul, I'm just going to grab in here. This is from a couple trips to the dollar store recently. This one was actually from when I was in Vegas. Of course, I had to find a Dollar Tree. And I just happened to find this little sign. I've seen them hold and I've been wanting to get one. I know they have the other like purple and pink ones, but I just not the color theme I'm going for in our office room. So I went ahead and picked this one up. And obviously I might not keep the girl boss on there. I'll probably keep it on there for a while, let's be real, <laughs> until I figure something out. But I think this is a great little stand you can put on your desk anyways. And since I do kind of work from home with YouTube and other things with VIP Kid and stuff, I thought it was fun to have this on there and just make it a little more professional of a workspace. Going along with VIP Kid, I need a little something to, I think I'm gonna use this to write my name on it. Will be Teacher Ruth, and it is a whiteboard, so I could erase and use the back as well if I wanted to. Let's see. Here are some paper clips. These might be kind of old, but I've seen them hold, and I just thought it would be fun to maybe put one down in the Airbnb in the guest book and use one in my planner. And these are the only colors that I know they have. Here's a boring item, but we are also going through the foster system, care system, and we just finished up our classes, but we need to organize our paperwork. Like, I want to go through all of our paperwork. It's pretty well organized, but we have a filing thing, and we need some tabs for it. So I just got a pack of those. Comes with 16. And then... I've seen this and I thought it was super cute and this is so me. I'm going to add it to my little vanity and it's just a little trick and tray that says nap queen and it has the eyelashes and y'all, I definitely am a nap queen. I wanted to pick one of those as just a little treat for myself. And then another little tray. I've been wanting to get one of these ever since I've seen it, but I've been waiting for the summer to get it, to put it out. So now I'll have to find a place for it. But it's just a little pineapple tray that I could just set somewhere with some little treats. And then also in the pineapples, as you can tell, I love my pineapples. I got these pineapple stickers. I thought they're super pretty. I'll probably put them in my planner. And going along with the planner stuff, I wrapped up, y'all. I know they have washi tape at Dollar Tree, but I haven't gotten it yet because it's usually just one roll, which is fine. But I don't have any hardly at all. But when I saw that they were having some with not one or two or three, but seven different kinds, I grabbed each one. Uh, this one has like butterflies and has the green and orange and then the purple polka dots this one has the one that says girl boss and it's basically got your blacks and your pinks and your gold 
This one has some flowers on it and that sparkly pink and of course my favorite color teal and second to that is yellow. And then this one just says dream with some hearts and it also, oh it says dreaming. Ah. And it's got some clouds and just the sparkly. So basically each one you have a couple prints, then you have a couple solids, and you have a sparkly. But I thought seven for a dollar was great, so I went ahead and grabbed one of each of them. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. 